let's get into this reading y'all yo kendrick didn't drop euphoria and before i could even get this motherfucking read and post it good he didn't drop another diss track but let's get on euphoria y'all you know what i'm gonna stick to the thing of colorism in this shit because colorism is being brought out and being displayed in front of us all of this bullshit that they have going on all these niggas speaking and taking up for drake is because drake light skin but we gonna get into the end of that at the end of we gonna get into that at the end of this read understand y'all all of this is in the spirit of hip-hop and all of this is entertaining the problem is for a lot of y'all a lot of y'all that assimilate to whiteness a lot of y'all that think that light is right Y'all can't take the fact that a brown skin nigga is taking this nigga's head off. Y'all King Drake, y'all, y'all most popular rapper, y'all, y'all most like nigga. The same nigga that put on black face and pretended and played in our face. This is the nigga that y'all taking up for versus Kendrick Lamar. The one who has the bars, the one who is coming in and giving y'all some real motherfucking hip hop. Ain't no real competition between them. Because you know what? It's just time for Drake to go sit his ass down. See, y'all made Drake feel important. Meanwhile, Kendrick was the lyricist. That's why he coming up underneath that academic card. Y'all keep trying to put it like it's competition or he just jealous of Drake or whatever the fuck you dumbass Drake fans are saying. And I'm not shitting on Lil Aubrey. I'm not shitting on him because I like some of his music too. But y'all need to be realistic. Drake crashing the fuck out the same way that Nicki did. Even from trying to use Tupac as an AI voice or an AI verse and trying to use Snoop. That was disrespectful to the West Coast. This nigga can't get his verse from Snoop. And Tupac's motherfucking the state stepped in his ass and told him, nigga, fuck you thought this was. I keep telling y'all, Kendrick has conjured the spirit of Tupac Shakur. And y'all keep looking for Tupac to come back and here he the fuck is in, in Kendrick delivering these motherfucking bomb first ass motherfucking diss tracks okay he giving us what we asked for drake on the other hand thought that you know his appearance and and his his ego led him to believe that he was going to be the one that was going to be chosen i'm mixed i'm tall i'm light-skinned I'm, I'm a ladies man. Of course they're going to choose me over Kendrick. Look at Kendrick. That's why he went on and he started that shit about Kendrick being short and all of that, 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 that uh, weak ass, mid ass diss track that he put out that Drake fans won't take as a loss. And see Drake now, because Kendrick didn't back to back him, Drake is scared y'all. Where's Champagne Pop yet? Okay. He see, he concerned about those truths that Kendrick getting ready to speak on him. Kendrick basically big brother and his son in this nigga. He ain't even tearing his ass up the way he could. He talking to him like a motherfucking mentor on every motherfucking bar. He's dragging him, don't get me wrong. But he's talking to him like he's son in this nigga. Told us about going up in Drake's own motherfucking uh, uh, hometown and eating fried rice where the nigga got robbed at. Drake was going to try to pull some shit about Compton, but Kendrick got right in front of that, baby. Don't come over here playing with L.A. Don't come over here playing with L.A. Like I told y'all before in the last read, we are looking at Drake getting ready to take a break. Didn't say that he was going to fade into obscurity, baby, but after this embarrassment, Kendrick putting on his ass, I'll bet you he wish he was invisible. Kendrick then dropped two. Drake going to respond, but it's going to be me and Kendrick going to annihilate his ass. King Kendrick, y'all.